What a week it has been. It is Friday and the sky is still clear around the greater Toronto area, but there are some clouds that will be moving in as the afternoon progresses. And then I think more clouds coming up here on Saturday, along with the chance of showers and possibly even a thunderstorm. Now it is clear through eastern Ontario. There was some fog early on. You see it here. This is not fog. This is our next weather maker moving in from the west. And those clouds already uh, impacting London down towards Windsor. It's 22 there, 24 in Toronto, 20 in Kingston, Montreal, and Ottawa as well, all at 20 degrees, but with a humidex closer to 25, it's closer to 30 in Windsor. So there is some mugginess in that air mass throughout the afternoon, which uh, it becomes a bit more unusual when you're later in September and uh, you start sweating as you are standing out in the sunshine. But that's the way this week has gone. Light winds, and here's our afternoon outlook. 26 degrees in Toronto. London 27, another warm one in Ottawa, but there are some changes ahead, and we'll talk more about that along with uh, the rain chances on Saturday coming up. Four people are dead after. And welcome back. Friday afternoon, the weekend right around the corner. And we do have a few more clouds that will be moving into the greater Toronto area as the day progresses. The temperature not impacted too much. 26 degrees is still well above seasonal with a humidex of 32 the early this afternoon. Now overnight tonight with the extra humidity around it won't be as cool 17 degrees also quite a bit of cloud to start the day on Saturday. There is a slight chance of showers. We have a front that's going to weaken as it encounters this large ridge of high pressure. That's the same big H that has kept us sunny and dry for the better portion of two weeks now. 15 degrees in Winnipeg, 7 in Calgary and Saskatoon, so quite a bit cooler out towards the west. So the first front uh, will break down the ridge slightly, a chance of shower Saturday, and then on Monday, that's when widespread rain is going to arrive and it could be around for several days. Chances of showers through much of next week which I guess makes sense considering how dry it has been for so long. So here is our front. There are some thunderstorms impacting Chicago this morning uh, and all of this moving our way. First the clouds and then let's stop it right during the late afternoon on Saturday. So uh, not everybody gets rain on Saturday. In fact, there'll be sunshine in between. Uh, but there are definitely some shower chances and a risk of a thunderstorm as well. And then Sunday, it's back to partly cloudy conditions and still mild ahead of this next system to start the week. 21 on Monday with that rain. And then look at this as we go through the week. Tuesday, steady rain, showers on Wednesday, another system Thursday into Friday. Yep. Enjoy the weekend. 24 degrees both Saturday and Sunday. Now the same goes for Montreal. Still mild and dry this weekend. And then uh, the rain here holds off till Wednesday. But we do have showers that could linger uh, through late afternoon on Thursday. Have a great weekend, everyone. We will enjoy it while it lasts. Thanks, Anthony. And time now for a look at the forecast. For this, let's bring in our chief meteorologist, Anthony Fornell. Hi, Anthony. Good evening, Anthony. We are tracking some cloud. Yes, cloud. I know it's been a, a boring week of weather for me when I get excited about clouds moving in. Uh, so far, just high clouds, and actually the sun is poking through. This is the thicker stuff, and there actually are some showers associated with it, and the chance, even for the GTA, to get into some rain tomorrow. More on that coming up. From Peterborough through Kingston and Ottawa, it is still a nice and sunny and the temperature is reflected in that with highs today in the 26 to 27 range. It's just a touch cooler in Toronto at 24. 26 in London, 28 and with some humidity in Windsor it actually feels like 32, 33 the humidex in Sarnia. So it is going to change right this weather pattern. 
Yes, but we still get to benefit from a weekend of above seasonal temperatures. For tonight, we drop back to 17 degrees in Kingston and Toronto, 14 for Muskoka, and then tomorrow afternoon, generally 23 to 25 degrees, the exception being southwestern Ontario. And this is also where some of these storms could be on the strong side. We'll have an update on this rain potential and a rather wet week ahead in your full forecast coming up. More women have come forward saying they are also victims of the late billionaire Mohammed. Time now for our first look at the forecast. For that, let's check in with weather specialist Kaylee Bedore. Kaylee. Thanks, Carrie. Another beautiful day, more sunshine, warm weather, and we do have more on the way for tomorrow. There's a slight chance, though, we start to see a few showers for portions of the viewing region on Saturday, and then Sunday, that chance of showers does linger in the area. Now, I think that for the most part, it will stay dry in Kingston on Saturday, but north and along seven, that's where we could get into a little bit of rain. So we'll talk about that in a moment. For now, a look back at this afternoon's temperatures in the mid 20s, once again, feeling in the upper 20s. With the Humidex, so it was another warm day. Those daytime highs should just be in the upper teens, maybe 20 degrees now this time of year. And on that note, fall does officially arrive on the weekend. Next weekend, things are looking more seasonal, so soak it in while you can. 16 degrees for your overnight temperature. A few clouds, though increasing cloud is expected on Saturday. Some areas could pick up a few showers. Kingston, I think, will stay dry through the afternoon, but we'll take a closer look at the future cast. It is going to be another warm one, but uh, just expect things to start to change. More coming up for now. That's a first look at your weather. First Weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award-winning service, and professional installations, visit Aubin.com. The Queen's Gales. Well, time now for a full look at your forecast. It was another warm day today. Still plenty of sunshine in the region, but cloud cover does start to roll in through the day tomorrow. Parts of the area could see a few showers. Risk of thunderstorms starts to creep in from the west, but overall, I think Kingston, we should stay dry for Saturday. Sunday, a few showers, though, lingering for eastern Ontario. Daytime highs today, once again, in the mid-20 range, Ottawa, 27. We had mid-20s in Kingston area, but with the humid acts, it was feeling into the upper 20s, even low 30s for some. So still some warm air, but by next week, especially cooler temperatures will be in place, at least seasonal. But compared to what we have been seeing, I think it is going to be a big difference and more wet weather on the way for next week as well. Fall officially arrives on Sunday and we are going to have maybe some temperatures at least to match. So what we're watching coming in over the Great Lakes, you can see that front bringing with it some cloud cover for portions of southern Ontario, southwestern Ontario. It's moving in from west to east. So through the overnight into Saturday morning, some cloud does start to develop. Some clearing as well. Belleville, Brockville seeing some clearing late morning and into the afternoon. Then we start to see that chance of a few showers and even risk of thunderstorm. It does develop a little bit farther north, but Charbot Lake and in along Highway 7, you can watch for a little bit of that wet weather. Thunderstorm risk will linger there. And then as you push farther west, I think it is sticking a bit farther north though at this point, but something to keep in mind through the afternoon, there could be a little bit of active weather. Then as we approach Sunday, chance of showers will continue and more cloud cover does say, stay in place as well. For the overnight tonight, though, partly cloudy conditions. Kingston 17, increasing cloud for tomorrow morning. Brockville 14, 14 for South Frontenac area as well. Daytime highs tomorrow back into the mid-20 range. As you push a little bit farther west, you start to see that storm risk coming in, but for the most part, some cloudier conditions. 23 for Sunday, and then next week, that's where things return to seasonal. We are looking at upper teens for the afternoons. We have some wet weather, especially on Tuesday, a little bit more significant rain. So a cooler setup and certainly more rain than we have seen in quite some time. <laughs> that's a full look at your weather. Your long. Time now for our first look at the forecast. For that, let's check in with weather specialist Kaylee Bedore. Kaylee. 
Thanks, Carrie. Another beautiful day, more sunshine, warm weather, and we do have more on the way for tomorrow. There's a slight chance, though, we start to see a few showers for portions of the viewing region on Saturday, and then Sunday, that chance of showers does linger in the area. Now, I think that for the most part, it will stay dry in Kingston on Saturday, but north and along seven, that's where we could get into a little bit of rain. So we'll talk about that in a moment. For now, a look back at this afternoon's temperatures in the mid 20s once again, feeling in the upper 20s. With the humid X, so it was another warm day. Those daytime highs should just be in the upper teens, maybe 20 degrees now this time of year. And on that note, fall does officially arrive on the weekend. Next weekend, things are looking more seasonal, so soak it in while you can. 16 degrees for your overnight temperature. A few clouds, though increasing cloud is expected on Saturday. Some areas could pick up a few showers. Kingston, I think, will stay dry through the afternoon, but we'll take a closer look at the future cast. It is going to be another warm one, but uh, just expect things to start to change. More coming up for now. That's a first look at your weather. First Weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award-winning service, and professional installations, visit Aubin.com. A correction to... Letters is brought to you by Kingston Community Credit Union. Align your money with your values. Visit kccu.ca. Time now for a full look at your forecast. It was another warm day today. Still plenty of sunshine in the region, but cloud cover does start to roll in through the day tomorrow. Parts of the area could see a few showers. Risk of thunderstorms starts to creep in from the west, but overall, I think Kingston, we should stay dry for Saturday. Sunday, a few showers, though, lingering for eastern Ontario. Daytime highs today, once again in the mid 20 range, Ottawa 27. We had mid 20s in Kingston area, but with the humid X, it was feeling into the upper 20s, even low 30s. For some. So, still some warm air, but by next week, especially, cooler temperatures will be in place, at least seasonal. But compared to what we have been seeing, I think it is going to be a big difference and more wet weather on the way for next week as well. Fall officially arrives on Sunday, and we are going to have maybe some temperatures at least to match. So, what we're watching coming in over the Great Lakes, you can see that front bringing with it some cloud cover for. Portions of southern Ontario, southwestern Ontario. It's moving in from west to east. So through the overnight into Saturday morning, some cloud does start to develop. Some clearing as well. Belleville, Brockville seeing some clearing late morning and into the afternoon. Then we start to see that chance of a few showers and even risk of thunderstorm. It does develop a little bit farther north, but Charlotte Lake and in along Highway 7, you can watch for a little bit of that wet weather. Thunderstorm risk will linger there. And then as you push farther west, I think it is sticking a bit farther north though at this point, but something to keep in mind through the afternoon, there could be a little bit of active weather. Then as we approach Sunday, chance of showers will continue and more. Cloud cover does stay, stay in place as well. For the overnight tonight, though, partly cloudy conditions, Kingston 17, increasing cloud for tomorrow morning, Brockville 14, 14 for South Frontenac area as well. Daytime highs tomorrow back into the mid 20 range. As you push a little bit farther west, you start to see that storm risk coming in, but for the most part, some cloudier conditions. 23 for Sunday, and then next week, that's where things return to seasonal. We are looking at upper teens for the afternoons. We have some wet weather, especially on Tuesday, a little bit more significant rain. So a cooler setup and certainly more rain than we have seen in quite some time. <laughs> that's a full look at your weather. You're long. Time now for our first look at the forecast. For that, let's check in with weather specialist Kaylee Bedore. Kaylee. Well, it was another beautiful day today. Those temperatures still above seasonal. We did have some sunshine, though cloud cover starts to roll in a little bit more through the overnight and for the day tomorrow as well. So a cloudier day overall for Saturday, but still some clear breaks possible on and off throughout the weekend. A few showers do start to pop up, but the bulk of that active weather is at this point sticking a little farther west of Kingston. So keep in mind through the afternoon on Saturday, we do have a front sweeping through. Some areas could pick up a shower, even risk of thunder. 
thunderstorm, but again, a little bit of action farther to the north and also west of the city. So let's keep this in mind as we head through tomorrow. Cloud cover, but a few clear breaks. Afternoon temperatures once again into the 20s, and that is going to be the trend over the weekend. It's not until next week where daytime highs return to seasonal. 25 through the afternoon, southeast wind. We have some cloud. In the full forecast, we'll take a closer look at any incoming rain and thunderstorm threat. And of course, fall arrives on Sunday. Next week, those temperatures and conditions start to match. Those details just ahead. First Weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award winning service, and professional installations, visit Aubin.com. The Queen's Gale. Well, time now for a full look at your forecast. Another warm day for southern Ontario. Southwestern parts of the province hit 29 degrees today. That warm air extending north into the northern portions of the province as well as into Quebec. Cooler air in place for the east coast, so those daytime highs are coming back to seasonal. Cooler air as well for the western part of the country, especially Calgary today, really got hit with some cool temperatures and wet weather. Now, we have been in a stretch um, forecast and in the weather where we haven't seen much in terms of rain. It's been sunny. We've had that high pressure really over the past couple of weeks. We've had above seasonal temperatures, but now this front is making its way through and we do have our eye on a couple of systems over the course of the next few days. The weekend overall still going to be quite warm though. So let's take a look first at this. A front comes in already bringing some cloud cover to portions of southern Ontario and that cloud does roll into the region more so through this evening overnight and into the morning. We're seeing it develop now into the first part of the day on Saturday. A little bit of clearing is even possible from Seven down to Belleville, Prince Edward County as well, Charbot Lake, Brockville, but some cloud also starts to roll through. So a cloudier day with some clear breaks. And then by the time we get to the afternoon, we start to see this rain creep in to the western portion of the viewing region. So Belleville could get hit with that, even north towards Charbot Lake, a few showers. Prince Edward County might get in on a little bit of that wet weather. It does stick. A little bit farther west of Kingston starts to break up. Not too much impact at this point expected for tomorrow. Though Sunday through the morning, another chance of showers does kind of come into the forecast, but we are looking still to see some clearing then as well. So it is going to be a little bit of a mix back and forth. Not as significant when it comes to rainfall at this point as areas farther west and even through Toronto and the GTA, looking at more of an impact from that. So keep in mind over the weekend, those temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer. Still in the mid teen range overnight, upper teens for Prince Edward County, daytime highs tomorrow, 26 for South Frontenac, 26 in Brockville, 24 for Kingston. Temperatures into the 20s still for the weekend, but next week it's more rain as another.